Hey everyone, how are you all doing? This is Regan and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I am going to share my very first Hot Toys Batman. This is none other than the Batman Armory with Bruce Wayne and Alfred Pennyworth. We're going to take a look at this one after 7 years. Yes, 7 long years or I think more than 7 years, maybe 8 years or 7 and a half because I never got the chance to share with you although we did an unboxing and review of this with my son Martin and I'll probably add a short clips of it in the latter part of the video. I'm glad that I bought this one because I think the price and value of this one now is quite high since it is also rare. When I bought this, it was already a bit expensive that time. I still wasn't aware where Hot Toys Secret Base was way back then so I got this from a local reseller here in Hong Kong. The shop is named Figure Shing. That time I didn't know where and how to pre-order. I'm not sure if he's still reselling Hot Toys till now. I was so amazed when I saw the display from his shop and that's why I bought it even if it was quite expensive that time. So before you get too far, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified once I upload a new video, especially if it's from Hot Toys. Without further ado, let's get started. First off, it has a huge box. The packaging is massive. It has three figures plus the weight of the armory. It is loaded with accessories. Imagine, it was enormous. So even if it was expensive, way above the standard retail price, I think it's really worth it. Really no regrets, you know, whatsoever. And after seven years, that is what I'm going to show you guys in case you're planning to get this one too. Alright, so I'm gonna start with Alfred Pennyworth. This one comes with five pieces extra interchangeable hands. Uh, different gesture, actually three left hand, uh, mixed gesture right here and a pair of a pair of fist gesture, there you go, so five pieces plus extra joint, two pieces right there, okay, and the figure right here, Alfred Pennyworth, nice, okay. I would say mine is still in good shape, um, still good looking figure, the suit is still fine though you could see some some crumpled parts or some folded parts I would say, uh, but I think the cause of that is because of the crotch holder, like once you uh, display him using the crotch holder for a long period of time, so that's what's gonna happen, so you might gonna get that look, you know. Okay, but I think it's fine, so not really a big deal, but I'm just saying. So I think we just need to iron it or like steam iron, right? Then uh, also here on the elbows, you can see some crumpled parts too. I think this one, of course, when you pose or when you bend the elbows like this for a long period of time, then you're going to get uh, those crumpled parts. Especially if you're going to um, uh, put the coat, his coat, then it's kind of like once you insert it, like you might going to look like this inside. And then of course you're gonna fold it or you're gonna bend the elbows then it's gonna be look like that once you take it out okay but I think everything else is still fine no damage I would say still clean uh, a little bit baggy I would say but you know you could actually change that if you're not happy with the uh, size of the suit I'm not sure if it's uh, uh, accurate to the film or to the figure maybe maybe not but uh, one thing that you have to consider is that inner uh, white polo right there because mine has a lot of um, stains like those uh, discoloration, the yellow stains. So, well, you could clean that, you know, you could wash that if uh, you don't want to buy another one or you could purchase a third party. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think it's very easy to fix that. And inside this one, the button's still fine. There you go, see? So still perfect, I would say. Just that, those stains. Can you guys see it? See? Those stains inside. So kind of like a yellowish color now for that white polo, okay? And the articulations, I think still good. Still, uh, you know, I would say still decent, still tight. You could still do some decent poses there. At least not loose. Uh, it can still hold some uh, position. 
like there front so actually i didn't really uh check the articulations of this one i mean like i don't remember i just look at him and then check a little bit just do some poses but not really check like the usual that i'm doing every time i'm doing some you know unboxing okay see uh, the articulation still nice still uh, uh good can hold could even sit him to a chair like this very nice see right crunch in yeah the upper body still tight there okay right there that's it okay and then the ankle the ankle yeah still tight so even if you don't use the the crutch holder i think it can stand alone without that holder okay yeah still tight though nice yeah, so I think that's it for the articulations. I think everything's perfect. Still tight, I would say, even the wrist. And this one, let's talk about the head scalp, guys. The head scalp, wow, really amazed me. I think this is the one really caught my eyes, really caught my attention. You know, when I saw it from the display, that's why I bought it, you know. I mean, like, look at that. It's incredible. I mean, like, the skin tone, the texture, it really looks like him, right? Like, the actor, Alfred Pennyworth. Michael Caine, right? Ah, wow. Like, it's amazing. See? I think Hot Toys nailed this one. I think you cannot find any uh, Michael Caine or Alfred Pennyworth uh, figure like this. So, yeah, you should really get this one, guys. There you go. Okay? Anyway, let's move on to Bruce Wayne. Well, I forgot to show you guys that this one comes with the base nameplate and the logo of the Dark Knight Batman okay and also of course the holder the crutch holder and let's move on to Bruce Wayne this one comes with three pairs of interchangeable hands okay right there the first pair second pair same gesture but this one I'm not sure uh, what kind of stuff or accessory that you're going to put inside or like you have to you know hold to this hand gesture so yeah I'm not really sure just comment down below if you guys uh, have an idea. <laughs> I don't know why. Fist gesture too, guys. See? Nice. And, of course, the figure. Bruce Wayne. There you go. Nice. I think uh, mine's still in good shape, I would say. Still a uh, good-looking figure, you know. See? And also the fit of the suit, I think it's accurate to the figure or accurate to the film because it's not loose, it's not baggy, so perfectly fit to the figure. Though the color is a little bit different, you know, if you're going to watch again the film, I believe it's a little bit grayish color or like lighter color, lighter black, something like that. So maybe probably um, Hato is having a hard time to find the original color, so that's why they just use this one instead. But the design still the same. You know, the look still the same. It's just that the color is a little bit lighter color. The stripes. Of course, that one is really uh, different, totally different. So it's hard to find, right? So yeah, but at least still still okay. Still uh, accurate to the film, that stripes. And also even that inner uh, polo. Okay, though I found some, uh, some stains too on the collar right there. Kind of like, a, of course, same with the Alfred figure, yellowish color, okay, discoloration, so, hmm. But it's easy to, you know, clean that, just take it off from, the, I mean, take it off from the figure, remove it, and wash it, and that's it. It will go back to the original color. And when I check the inner part, uh, doesn't have, it's just only that, that color part, probably because it, that's the only exposed part, so that's why it could easily get some stains. But everything is perfectly fine, still in good shape. So no damage, still okay, still in good shape, and the articulation, because I never get a chance to check the articulations of this one. <laughs> but I tried to play a little bit, but not much, you know, really not much, guys. So the articulation, still good, yeah, still tight, still in good shape, it can still hold some, uh, you know, some poses, some decent pose, see, see right there, and elbows, double joint, upper body. This one is a little bit loose, but still okay. Uh, yeah, this is one of the arch one. Yeah, so a little bit loose. The crunch in, okay. But at least still can hold the, you know, some poses. The legs, right there. Front, yeah, just like uh, Alfred figure. You can also uh, put him on the chair, sit. There you go, double jointed. Uh, also still tight, not loose. 
even the ankle part so you could still uh, do some stand without the uh, holder yeah the twist right there still decent guys so I would say still okay still fine after seven years unless you know the owner is uh, I mean like a playing too much this figure then might gonna have some loose or factory defect you know like QC like uh, before you even uh, bought this one it already has that uh, you know kind of like um, damage I mean like not damage but uh, loose joints then yeah probably but this one's still okay still in good condition guys so it looks like I'm selling right <laughs> so anyway yeah and the head scope guys wow the head scope of this one you know to be honest I I still enjoy until now you know looking at them from my um, uh, display uh, shelves because uh, yeah together with the, uh, Alfred Pennyworth uh, it, because it still looks like him you know like um, uh, Bruce Wayne Christian Bale from afar like you're still gonna enjoy it guys I mean like you will still love this uh, head sculpt you know I would say like 80 to 85 percent accurate to the actor you know Christian Bale right see of course if you're going to compare to the new ones of course that's a totally different story because after seven years saying right right so yeah but still I would say the skin tone the texture the sculpt yeah, I would say still great you know it's just that of course a seven-year-old figure uh, you might see some changes uh, once you uh, get some you know new uh, reissue figure I would say so yeah but yeah you will still enjoy this one guys you will still love it Bruce Wayne Christian Bale there you go okay anyway let's move on to the Batman figure this one ah wait let me show you guys first the accessories this one comes with two pairs of interchangeable hands this one is the holding the weapon gesture or holding the grapnel gesture the other pair is mixed gesture holding the bat round this one's open hand and comes with extra joint even Bruce Wayne I forgot to show you guys Bruce Wayne also comes with extra joint right there two pieces each so this one is the adapter to the neck um, but I think you don't need to use this one because uh, that head scalp has that already you know the adapter but in case you know you're going to break it I um, mean you accidentally break it then you could use this one this adapter and then this one is for that uh, collar you know for that Bruce Wayne head scalp too okay there you go and this one is the lower face cup interchangeable three pieces so different uh, expression of the mouth right there okay and this one is the bat cowl empty bat cowl that you're going to use uh, for the armory if you're going to use the body for the armory then yeah you have to use this one okay there you go so this one's detachable kind of like a holder to the head cup okay there you go okay and the batman figure right here from the Dark Knight version Wow Batman armory nice I would say it's still amazing right after seven years I would say it's still a great looking figure for sure some of you will agree with me right there you go mine is still in good shape still in good condition the paint application still sharp and clean the details still amazing see nice there you go okay though I found already some damage some small damage I don't know why and where it came from so yeah and also some paint chip but this one is just recently because I tried to clean it up I saw something like stick to it and I tried to clean it up using a cloth maybe I press it too hard or scratch it too much so that's why ew, I got those uh, paint chip but just be careful on cleaning it probably because you know after seven years the the material the paint application becomes softer so it's easy to damage so just be careful and also some uh, what's this like there's one here that is slowly peeling off right here I'm not sure if you guys could see it but yeah probably again the rubber material slowly peeling off again for a seven year figure so probably that's what's gonna happen or maybe a factory uh, you know uh, problem already that I didn't notice or quality control I would say I think it's a seven-year-old figure so that's why but you will still enjoy this figure you know if you're going to play with it because I just kept him inside the armory for uh, seven years just maybe once twice I tried to uh, check it but not really play you know doing some poses so that's why I didn't really play that much this figure because I really enjoy him you know looking at him in the Batman armory because it's very film accurate you know together with Bruce Wayne and uh, Alfred Pennyworth right so that's why it looks really cool so anyway I'm gonna check very quick the 
the articulation so you guys could uh, see it too just in case you're going to purchase a second hand or use one the head scalp is magnetically designed you could do whatever you want whichever direction you want to it has a movable eyes the neck part is still tight this one's still tight so just be careful moving it slowly side and then move the head that's it okay and then for the arms lift the arms that's it okay and then the other side oops this one is quite loose Ooh. so loose part already on the right arm the, the this one this side still okay you can still hold some uh, decent poses also this one actually maybe just press it it will go back to the position again right yeah and then front i think still fine still good there you go see and then this one yeah this one's really loose guys so probably before I didn't really check it, maybe it's already loose, you know, some factory defect already, so that's why, you know. Huh. Anyway, I think it's fine, still okay, just just press it, I think it still can hold some decent poses, some dynamic poses, I would say. But this one, this is the one I want to tell you guys. I saw some uh, damage right here, some uh, rip off from the suit right there, I don't, I don't know if you guys could see it. So both side has that, so I'm not sure what's the cause of that, but it's it's kind of like a hard to analyze where it came from, right? See, see, I don't know why. Same here. Probably the glue, right? And when you move the body side to side, no, nah, no, it's not. Even if you twist it, no, nah, it's also not too. So yeah, I'm not sure what's the cause of that. You know, those uh, rip off part on the suit. So just be careful. Check that too if you're going to purchase one. Okay, the articulation I would say is still okay, still tight enough to hold some uh, decent poses. The twist, this one, I think the max of this one is up to here. Okay, so just trying to be careful. I don't want to damage those uh, patterns, those uh, armor, rubber material that stick to the suit. So yeah, I think that's the max. Still okay, you will enjoy, uh, you will still enjoy this figure guys. See, crunch in. Mm, yeah still do some nice crunch in there wow just a little bit actually still limited you know uh, i would say for this figure right there uh, not loose i think uh, still fine still okay for the legs with the legs open legs right there i think it's okay that's the max and for the raising the legs to the front i would say just 45 degrees guys yeah, that's it. Probably because of the pads, the rubber material uh, pattern. So that's why we cannot do some uh, big range of motion there. The back, see? No. Actually, not at all. Oh, yeah, there's no articulations in the back uh, leg up. And the knees part. The knees part are only up to just 90 degrees. Again, because of the, the pads inside, the material that they use. Okay. So just be careful there you go still in good shape the ankle this one's still tight this one is a little bit loose you know i would say okay so yeah i think that's it that's it for the articulation guys just a quick one so at least you guys have an idea uh, i forgot to do the elbows this one double jointed but it's just that that because of the armor so it's not gonna let the arms go up so that's why because of those uh, armor yeah I think it's fine just uh, 90 degrees is okay right there again the belt is detachable so yeah this one detachable removable movable detachable you could swivel that movable uh, shoulder pads armor right there also this one okay that's it still great looking figure guys the details amazing right except this one <laughs> Hi, nice. Okay. Anyway, let's move on to the Batman Armory. Alright, so now we're in the second packaging, which is the armory right here and some uh, some stuff, some accessories. So I'm gonna start with this one. This one comes with the coat. The coat of Alfred, long coat. There you go. Made out of suede material. Right there. I would say still in good condition. Though you could tell that it's a little bit uh, worn out or kind of like uh, it's been displayed, right? So yeah, but at least it's still uh, no damage. I mean, it's still good. Just maybe put some, I don't know, like ointment or lotion or spray that to make it look like new again, right? 
So yeah, because this is suede material, so maybe it's kind of hard to, you know, uh, bring back that look. But I would say still okay. Yeah, still fine. I think it's it looks more natural, right? So yeah. Anyway, long coat. And next up, right here, is some accessories that you're also going to attach to the armory, to the the door of the armory. Okay, let me open this one first. Okay, so there you go. But unfortunately, as you can see, that the some parts right here are missing already. So I'm not sure where they are. So probably I just uh, uh, put them somewhere that I don't know. But actually, this one is again more than seven years. So probably I forgot already. Well, I remember where, but then it's just that uh, I have so many stuff. So hopefully, I could still find them. But it's just that eh? maybe I could uh, make a uh, customized uh, hook right only that but then everything else like i mean the weapons the the stuff that you're going to hang it's still there it's just that the wires you know those hooks okay yeah still okay i'm not sure if this is the correct one and also this one so i'm not sure so anyway yeah at least still okay weapons the guns the belts hooks and some i don't know like probably some uh, attach attachment thing like yeah there you go some holders right so anyway and also right here is kind of like the base of the armory with the nameplate of the dark knight and logo also right there solid plastic okay and also at the bottom of that base right here is the cape of the batman so if you're going to use the batman figure then you could use this one this cape okay this one is kind of like similar to the coat of Alfred, I mean the material. It is also suede material, so right there. And it's quite big, of course. Bam! And some wire incinerator right here at the edge, only up to here, this part. But the part right here doesn't have only this part right here. And also the neck part around here. And this one, okay, but this one doesn't have. Okay, that's it. So the cape of Batman, there you go. And then let's take it out the armory. All right, guys. So this is the armory right here. Very nice. And I really put those accessories inside. Okay, so let me take it out. So there you go. Bang! Nice surprise. So anyway, right here is the armory. I would say still in good condition, still fine, though I have some problem on the lights. I'm not sure if it's still working or not. And some damage right here at the side of this door. Kind of like, uh, I'm not sure if I broke it. Probably, yeah, of course. There you go. But still, yeah, it's still okay, it's still fine. Still, uh, you know, you could still display it nicely. There you go, right? Nice. And uh, of course, let's take a look at the accessories. So this part right here, it has two trays inside of it is so these two trays right here you can see there's a lot of accessories guys you're gonna enjoy it you're gonna enjoy playing with this uh, accessories guys especially if you're going to attach it to the armory those batarangs canister right there some pouches also right here smoke bomb probably sticky bomb too there you go some kind of like injection smoke bomb i think yeah, this is a smoke bomb so some canister right there some pouches i'm not sure how you're going to call this one yeah see it's a lot you're gonna enjoy it guys you're gonna love this one and so these two big trays right here you can see there's a lot of accessories too a lot like a lot of ammo the bullets right there nice the guns the two grappling guns right there kind of like a uh, uh, spike ninja spike nunchucks some wires looks like an injection i'm not sure how you go to call this one wow that's a lot right see, you're gonna enjoy that and also the second uh tray right here see those two belts some hooks a lot i don't know how you're going to call that some uh, batarangs amazing guys right see wow <laughs> so these two uh trays right here that you're going to attach to the back of armory so it's very easy to attach that because it's the same shape so it will take time you know to attach those accessories but uh, you're gonna love it you're gonna enjoy it you know you're gonna have fun you know playing with this uh, armory and those accessories 
Okay, you could even use it to the Batman if you're uh, kind of like enjoying it. Okay, and also these two, these two trays are the one you're going to attach to that uh, two shelves at the bottom. Uh, not two shelves, sorry. That's six shelves right there. Okay, those movable uh, shelves right there. Okay, right here. So aside from those six shelves, you could also move these doors right here that it has a magnetic design right here that once you close it, it will snap automatically. See? Nice. And it's not easy to open it, huh? See? Alright, that's really cool. Bam. Nice. And then again, just slowly opening it. I don't know why I broke this part right here, but this part is very smooth. So this one, this side, it's quite tight. So probably... The, some screw uh, problem and also this part right here very nice paint applications the details also really nice even the weathering effects also on the net on the doors right here okay and then the back part you could also open this back part right here okay let me show you guys uh, bam there you go and the other side there you go okay that's really cool so you could, actually you could uh, use the back part to be the front part something like that okay but uh, of course uh, in the movie this one should be at the back so wide open there you go okay so that's how it looks like see very cool and this part right here this is where you're going to attach the Batman armor okay to the shoulder part right there and this one really nice too and uh, some really cool uh, platform right here that looks like a real metal right see and this one too, it has a magnetic uh, design that once you attach each side, it's gonna stop automatically. Bam! Nice, see? And it's not easy to open, see? Very nice paint application in this back part right here. Looks like a real, like, you know, door, like, right? Very nice paint application. The weathering effects, really cool. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of actually weathering effects uh, on the whole armory. Even the top part right here, this one looks like a real uh, concrete, I would say. Right, see, that's really nice, it's really cool. So now let's attach those accessories uh, inside, especially here at the back. You're gonna enjoy it, you're gonna love it, and also the shelves right here, okay. Alright guys, so I think that's it. Uh, overall, this Batman Armor Deluxe version or Bruce Wayne and Alfred Pennyworth is absolutely incredible. I think a must-have figure set for any Batman collector out there. Especially if you are a fan of Dark Knight Trilogy, if you could find a cheaper one, then you should grab it. However, when I saw it online, it's still expensive. It's even more expensive when I bought it. 
and we don't know yet if Hot Toys is going to reissue this one. Maybe or maybe not. We don't know. So for those newbie collectors that are going to look for a secondhand Batman armory, make sure to check it first if there's any damage or loose parts or loose accessories. So you won't gonna worry about it too much. Remember that you have to enjoy your collection and not putting too much drama on it. So if you get this far, I really appreciate it if you hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't yet. Thanks for watching. Until then, see you in the next one. Peace. Yo, what's up guys? What's up YouTube? My is Martin. This is my daddy Ray guys. Hey, what's up guys? Uh, we're back and we're here again for another unboxing and a quick review. Okay. So today, um, we're, we're going, going to show you this Batman armory with Alfred Pennyworth and Bruce Wayne. Yeah, so we're not gonna do unboxing. We're just gonna do a quick review. Yeah, quick review. We just want to share with you our collection and uh, it's been with us um, for almost like uh, two years and then we didn't get a chance to do unboxing so today we're just gonna have a quick review okay so let's start so we're gonna start from Alfred okay MMS 236 yes it has three sets like there's one there's only the armory Batman armory only Batman armory and then Alfred and the third one is this one complete set like with Bruce Wayne Alfred and the Batman Armory, right? Yes, you can see right there. Let's see, yeah, that's Christian Bale. The Batman Armory. The Batman Armory, yes. Look at that. So if we close it like this, you can see all of his weapons. He's got the gun, the bullets. Yeah. Yes, you can see right here. Oh no. Oops, that's a head. And yeah, this is the extra head sculpt. Also very highly detailed, mm -hmm. and especially the suit, mm -hmm. the Batman suit. Yes. yes, I think that's it. Just a very quick review, guys. Yeah. So what are you gonna say to them, Martin? If you want to watch our next video, please subscribe down below. And bye, guys. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching. Peace, Peace out. out.